Wonder Hussy here. I'll give you three guesses where I am. It's in New Mexico. It's a sand dune field. And the sand is white because it's made out of gypsum. It's called the White Sands National Monument. Really famous tourist attraction here in this really desolate, barren valley where the White Sands Missile Range is. So it's kind of a creepy military type environment, but then there's these beautiful, peaceful sand dunes out here that you can walk on this trail, like a little boardwalk trail. You can even get a backcountry permit to camp out here. How cool is that? You have to lug your tent and all your gear way out into the dune field somewhere and set up camp, but that would be so fun. I would love to do that sometime. You know, way, I'd just love to go way out there where nobody's messing with me, set up a tent, have a little campfire, probably take some mushrooms, <laughs> a little glass of wine, have like a nomad desert dance party. Now that would be amazing. But this trip, I won't be doing that because I'm staying in an RV, which you can maybe see the top of behind that dune there. So we're just going to find a place to camp tonight. Unfortunately, you can't camp with an RV anywhere in this park. Otherwise, I totally would because, man, this would be so cool at night. Especially if you were here on a full moon. Can you imagine how beautiful? They have special full moon programs here for like photography and stuff. I'd love to do something like that. Do some nudies or even some clothed pictures, you know? So neat. But what I really like about these dunes, I mean, I guess it's the same thing I like about all sand dunes is these beautiful patterns, especially like when the day, the light gets later in the day. It's about four o'clock right now, I think. But you can see these really cool stripy patterns from the wind blowing the sand, really beautiful. And then look, I don't know if you can see, really, really faint lines from like, I don't know if that's from a twig or a bug. You'll see like little footprints in the sand sometimes from animals that live out here. Really cool. Here, let's hike up to the top of this. See, maybe we'll get a nice overview. Wow, look. White sand as far as the eye can see. See that RV driving down the road? It's very similar to the one I'm driving. That one might be a little bit longer than mine. Mine's 25 feet. Anyways, yeah, it's a really cool place. So, glad I stopped off here. Now I'm gonna run into that virgin area there. See what happens. Somebody wrote their names. 2017, Amber, Trevor, and Amiga. Mm, that's cool. Wow, look at this. It's like a big sand cliff with bushes growing over. I've never seen anything like this. It's like the sand got all built up and hard. You can carve your name into it. Wow, look at this. Oh wow, it's hard, but you can, it wears away. Oh man, it's almost like sugar. So cool, it's like, I don't know, like those white uh, sugar sand beaches down in Florida. I guess it's kind of similar to that, but out in the middle of the high desert, hundreds of miles from any ocean. Look how blue the sky is compared to the white sand. And then there's these crazy yuccas growing up everywhere. And these yuccas have these crazy stalks coming out the top. That's where they bloom in the springtime. Oh, you can see maybe in the distance there's a little girl with a, a sled. You can rent these sleds in the gift shop and go sledding down the slope. It'd be kind of fun to do. Let's go check it out. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, but I didn't rent a sled, so I'm just going to go down on my feet. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Well, look how deep the sand is. <laughs> it's like snow. <laughs> oh, 
not really sliding, but that is cool. And I've seen some really neat sand dunes in my day. There's some really cool dune fields around Vegas, but this is different from any place I've been. I'll have to come back here sometime and camp out in the backcountry. 